What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Today we're going to be talking about the Golden State Warriors at the Los Angeles Clippers. Uh, this game took place November 19, 2015. Obviously the Golden State Warriors are undefeated so we already know they won. At one point in this game they were down 23 points. Um, it looked like the Clippers were going to be able to pull this out. Um, me, on the other hand, I knew that they would not. And uh, people seem to not understand, and I get a lot of backlash from this. You know, a lot of guys write me messages like, yo, bro, you don't know what you're talking about with Doc Rivers, man. You don't know what you're talking about. Um, Doc, Rick, Doc Rivers was very lucky with that Boston Celtics championship. Let me just, li listen, everybody needs some luck. I'm not saying that luck is not necessary. No matter how hard you work, you need a little bit of luck. And that's not what my issue is. My issue is very simple with Doc Rivers. He's not the guy. You know, people compare him to, um, you know, Popovich and stuff like that. And I sit back and I'm like, what? what? What are you talking about? Like, how do you compare him to a guy with a dynasty with the San Antonio Spurs? A guy that makes people that are superstars play like regular men and they leave the egos at the door. What are you talking about? You know, people like to say things and, um, you know, create situations to where it's like, yo, bro, um, you know, it's not even like that, bro. You know, they like to use the word bro and all kind of bro, bro. I'm going to tell you this right now. Doc Rivers is not the coach that should be coaching the Los Angeles Clippers. And that's not, I, I'm not saying that he's a bad coach and that he shouldn't have employment. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is this. He's not a guy that's going to bring out the best in a team with, with a lot of different personalities. Let me just put it like that. Because there is no way that they should have lost this game up 23 at the half or whatever it was. At one point, it was up 23. What are you doing? With five minutes left, you're up 10. And you got this guy over here, Chris Paul. Where is he? Chris Paul. 35 points. I think he had 18 in the first quarter. This man played his butt cheeks off. He played his butt cheeks off. Now, look. Look at this guy, Lance Stevenson. Wasn't this guy brought in by Doc Rivers? Coach's decision did not play. Okay. Yo, bro, listen, listen, listen. Let, 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 me, let, me, let me just say something right now. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you guys this right now. Lance Stevenson, he's the kind of guy that brings a lot of baggage that you don't want. Let me just say that first. Let me, let me just say that the team was better off without Lance Stevenson. And a lot of guys are going to say, yeah, bro. The same way I feel about that other idiot on the Cleveland Cavaliers. What's his name? Um, I forgot what his name is. Uh, something Smith. Uh, some what is his what is his name? I forgot his name. Um, what is his what what is his name? Uh, I I don't know. It's something with a Smith, something with Jay Smith or something like this. This guy is a freaking detriment to the Cleveland Cavaliers. A detriment. All he does is hurt them with ridiculous turnovers and stupidness like that. That's all he does. The man does nothing else for that team with the Cavaliers. Whatever his, whatever, whatever his name is. You know what I'm talking about. The Smith dude. The one that got traded over there from the Knicks. This dude just creates issues that are not necessary for the team to operate. So there's no reason for him to be there. But guess what? They're going to still have him there. Why not, bro? Why not have him there? Why not have him there when it comes down to the clutch? Because what? He can hit a couple threes? Bro, the dude is a joke. And that's similar to what Lance Stevenson is. He does he doesn't apply to this you know to this team, this Los Angeles Clippers team. Austin Rivers, his son, what did he bring out? He brought out ten. All right, all right, that's cool. That's cool. How many plays they had? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So they had a very limited rotation. Okay, yo, bro, limited rotation. You're up twenty three. Still no excuse. They they came ready to play over here. You know what I'm saying, bro? These dudes right here came ready to play. Forty points by Steph Curry. It, could this team be better than the '96 Bulls? Am I being blasphemous by saying that? I know they're 13 and 0, and the best the best start is like 15 and 0 in the NBA. Am I being blasphemous by saying that? N Notice that I'm not saying anything like comparing Steph Curry to Jordan, like these other idiots. All I'm saying is record, because you can't. The time in which Jordan played, these players were a lot better. The game was a lot more violent. It was a lot more tough. There weren't a lot of ticky tack fouls. Guys were getting punched in the face, and no fouls were being called. So I can't really logically say that anybody should be compared to Jordan. Until you got six rings and you're perfect in the, um, the finals, I can't even consider you. That's why I can't consider Kobe Bryant. You've lost in the finals, bro, to a bum team coached by Doc Rivers, the same guy that I'm talking about right now. Listen, the bottom line is this. 
Doc Rivers is a good coach. Didn't he coach Orlando and they just couldn't do anything when it mattered? I, I, I'm trying to remember, like, this guy is not a guy that's proven to win. So I understand that he can help, uh, you know, he talks a good game, guys give him credit, stuff like that. If the Los Angeles Clippers were to do anything, they, they, they can't, you know, I, I don't I don't see them um, advancing to a higher level with Doc Rivers as coach. The players and the guys that are around, Lance Stevenson is already signed, so I don't know if they would just release him. Um, but I have to be honest with you. Hold up, Paul Pierce had six points? Are you serious? Wow. Yeah, bro. Okay. Yo, bro. Okay, Paul Pierce. It's time for you to, bro, bro. It's time for you to just throw up, bro, bro. Hang up, hang up your sneakers, bro. Hang up your sneakers in the locker, bro, and just walk away into the sunset. Bro, you got your one ring with Doc Rivers, bro, when you went to Celtics. You know, you went in there and smashed out the Lakers right quick. But, nah. Nah, bro, you can't be coming out with six points of this right here. You know what I'm saying? You can't do that. He didn't get no help. Where is his help, bro? Wow. You guys are trash. Bro, these guys are trash. No, nobody helped them. Bro, that's what I'm saying. It's it's not... Look, it's I'm not I'm not putting everything on Chris Paul. I'm not... Listen, I, I'm, not even, I'm not even saying anything bad about Chris Paul. It has nothing to do with Chris Paul. Everything after this point has to do with coaching. Because Chris Paul played like a baller. There has This has nothing to do with Chris Paul. This is all on Doc Rivers. Because Doc Rivers has continuously come up short, bro. Hopefully he's not coming up short in his pants. But he's coming up short in every game. Yo, every game I've seen that was huge for the Clippers, this man has come up short. So at some point, we got to stop looking at the players and say, you know what? Maybe this coach is not the right guy. You see how they fired the other guy from freaking, what, what, what is that, Houston, the Houston Rockets? You see how he was just fired wildly? And everybody's like, yo, bro, you know, Kevin McHale. All, bro, sometimes you got to say, you know what? You were a great player. You were this, you were that. You're not, right, you're not the right fit right now for this team. Sometimes you got to be a man about it. And somebody needs to step up and say, you know what, Doc Rivers, bro? Everybody's comparing you to this guy, you know what I'm saying, Pat, uh, you know, um, Pop, Popovich and all that stuff like that. You all know Popovich. Have you guys, uh, do you guys recall uh, Doc Rivers coaching the Olympic team or being, you know, named somebody that's like, the, you know, the, that, that dude? You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, stop just putting people's names together. You know, it's not cool. It's not something that's cool, bro. Popovich should not be mentioned in the same breath as Doc Rivers. There is no similarity between the two coaches. Popovich is leaps and bounds a better coach, and he's proven it over and over, over and over again. Even when he's lost, he's proven it more than Doc Rivers. And that's it. I don't really, you know, and, and, and this Golden State Warriors team is special, and I want them to repeat. I want them to repeat because everybody had an excuse for why they won. And don't get it, don't get don't get this twisted. I'm not a Golden State Warrior fan. I just want them to win because people need to shut the hell up. When you go out there, you play your butt off, you work hard, you win a championship, and if people have the nerve to make excuses for why you don't deserve respect, I want you guys to repeat. I want you guys to go out there and handle your business. I want Steph Curry to be the number one scorer. Because Greg, what is it, James Harden? Bro, are you serious, bro? Like He's, he's leaving comments like, bro, I should have been MVP. Really, bro? Really? You should have been MVP over Steph Curry. Really? Okay. Okay, bro. But listen, I'm not mad at him because you're supposed to say stuff like that. You're supposed to be ass a nine, ass a 10, and ass a 12 when you talk about yourself. Just don't say it out loud. Say it to somebody you can confide in. Because when you look at the play between these two, it's a no-brainer. James Harden is not in the same stratosphere as Steph Curry. I'm sorry. At this point right now, the way both of them are playing... Not in the same stratosphere. Sorry. So all I'm going to tell you guys is this. The Golden State Warriors were, Warriors were down by 23 points. Came back and ass-raped the Clippers. Whose fault is it? It has to be on Doc Rivers. Chris Paul deserves a lot of credit. The man played his heart out. Played his heart out. All I really want to know... After we discuss the fact that Doc Rivers should not be the coach of the Clippers, is this. Are they better than the Chicago Bulls, the 96 Bulls? Are they going to get over 70 wins this year? You guys let me know. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the podcast. Definitely check out past podcasts at G Myers World, iTunes, Android, we're everywhere. Check the links, check the About Me on the page on YouTube. Uh, Google it. 
Let me know what you're thinking about it. Uh, leave your comments on YouTube or wherever else you hear this podcast. There's always going to be a way for you to leave a comment. If you can't reach me that way, go right on the Twitter, as the kids say, and drop me a line. Let me know what you think, though. Is this team better than the 96 Bulls? Should Doc Rivers be fired? Until next time, one love.